this is Sims, and we are back with more Hotful Boyfriend. And we are at the end of Kazuaki's route. Um, well, sort of. We got a couple more choices, and we're still in November. So, I mean, like, there could be some other hidden scenes like this where we don't have choices. I don't know. Um, if they gets really weird, because I was thinking this as I ended the last part, I was like, it's really weird because, like, most of the time their routes could take a full part. So we probably should have just left um, Oko-san's part as being like 40 minutes. And then, because then we could have gotten Yuya's whole thing and we probably could have gotten Kazuaki's as a whole part. But it's just, I thought, oh, we could probably get Yuya's, but his has got more story. Kazuaki's got more story. So they could have been their own parts. So like this game has not been, <laughs> we have not done this really well. Like normally in every other game, I don't start a new route after we end one, but there are no like CGs to look at or anything. And, like, some of them have been really short where it's like, okay, so it's only 10 minutes. Okay, we'll do another thing. and then, So it's just been really weird in this game. So I'm sorry it's not normal, but we're getting our hour parts in and whatnot. I just – it just dawned on me. I was like, Yuya could have been his own whole freaking part. We could have left Oko-san. Like, but some of them go faster than others, and sometimes they're perfect, and sometimes – like, Oko-san's was only, like, I think, like, 40 minutes. So I was like, well, we could probably get Yuya's in, not realizing that – his was supposed to be saved for later. One of the later ones, which we're doing. We're fine. Um, there's no specific route order, but because it has more stories, so it had more content, so it could have been its own part. This could have been its own... Whatever. So, we're fucked up, but, like, sorry. This one's a little odd. Maybe we'll try to do better in Holiday Star. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, it's just... I don't know. I'm so used to giving you guys, like, hour parts that sometimes if it's like, oh, it's only 20 minutes. Okay. I mean, I guess... Sure, fine. It's a wrap, but I don't know. I don't know. I didn't do too good at this. I just, I'm enjoying it so much that it's like, I know I could have just done a lot more parts, but whatever. It is what it is. So anyway, so we had just been locked in the storage room by Bird Loaf, and I feel like Kazuaki is going to have some words with Loaf right now. And Tosaka is a very honest, nice girl, isn't she? I know she's a little bit restless. I agree completely. Anyway, I shall excuse myself now. Goodbye. I can't quite get his voice, but... A doctor. Because he's got to have a deep voice. But I don't want him to sound angry, because I don't want to have to have to do this voice when we're dating him. So... <gasps> but, like... Yes. And that was a little sloppy. And you failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. And that sort of thing will be the death of you, you know. Just kidding. Oh. Accidents like that happen to everyone. And you remember to come let her out in the end. And don't worry about it. Is he like a bad guy? I mean, we know the doctor is pretty fucking shady. He's a shady loaf. But like, Kazuaki, are you, are you being shady, buddy? Yes. Thank you, Professor. We get our finals back today between midterms and practice and blah, blah, blah. Tosaka. Sir? You rank top of the year this time. Well done. W what? And she beat you by two points, Shirogane. Oh well. Sukuya is glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic! Anyway, my hard work paid off. Yippee! So, like, I think we've seen all the math th things, so we can always skip through them now. Um, this is... Oh, this is one one. Okay, we can skip through this, because we're going to go blah, blah, blah. We'll get our amulet, and then we'll go talk to. Fulfillment in school. Here you go. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now we're going to go over here and talk to our husberto. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year! Oh, hello, Tosaka. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Uh, yes. Unfortunately, I seem to have dropped the chicken of an ill omen. Oh, why don't you take one? I will. Hmm. What should I take? Uh, this one. What did we get this time? The Silky Blessing. I think they're just random. Because we got that the second time around, not the first time around. And then we got the other one twice. Uh, good. You got a better one than I did. 
I think this will be a good year for you, Tosaka. Thank you, sir. I kind of wish those were like part of your like gallery things where you're like, oh, these are the different blessings you got. Like there's however many you got, you know what I mean? Because I'm still thinking there's 14 endings, right? Um, plus then the one, and then maybe two. There's still like four to seven of the, there's a bunch of those things in the gallery that aren't going to have anything and I don't understand, so. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. <sighs> You're still hibernating. Uh, sir, wake up. Oh. Um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Well, let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. Okay. So, wee the Goomin time. Okay, we get country millet. I'll take these. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Sir, uh, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, Tosaka. What is it? Um, today is Legumentines, so I wanted to give you beans. Hey, you want to give them to me? Are you sure that's okay? Hey, you don't have someone else. No, sir. I wanted to give them to you, sir. I don't know what kind of things you like to eat, so I wasn't sure which to get, but... Ah, millet seeds. I like them very much. I've enjoyed them for a long time. And they bring back good memories. Such a nice, gentle smell. He needs the racing beans. S sir! They do smell nice, but please don't fall asleep. Oh! Um, are you really sure you want to give these to me? Yes, sir. A hunter-gatherer never goes back on her word. Thank you, then. I wonder what I should give you in exchange. Your heart. What? <laughs> I'll have to think about it. And so he wandered off towards the staff room. A gentle smile on his face. I just, and I picture the little cartoon, like the actual human sprite, like, oh, I'm glad he liked them. And that's the last choice we have, so. Semester's almost over. In a few short days, I will no longer be a sophomore. But there's one thing I have left to do first. One thing I need to do. Profess my love to my teacher. Hello, Tosaka. Oh, what is it? Asking to meet outside is a little odd. If it's about your career plan, don't worry. You're still a sophomore. You don't have to decide for a few months yet. No, sir, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, please do. Sir, I like you. Is that... is that all right? You do say the strangest things, Tosaka. I like you too. You're kind, smart, you work hard. I, I didn't mean it like that. Listen, I'm no longer able to love another creature. It's not your fault, Tosaka. I'm sorry. <gasps> no longer able to love another creature? What does he mean? Hey, you saw it, remember? Saw so what, sir? Uh, the photo. Yes, sir. I didn't mean to. And don't worry about it. I knew you wouldn't lie. I suppose I should tell you. And that was the bo a photo of the most important bird in my life. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to come in between. I thought we could live through anything, and just the two of us. I think we meant more to each other than any birdie else in the world. But one day I looked around. I was alone. My life changed after that. I stopped caring about a lot of things. I can never forget. I never forget our life. Our promises. This is so fucking sad. Like... <gasps> rejected! It's a happy ending and it's rejected. I just really wonder though, like, because you're like, wow, some of these are so unfulfilling. Like, our husbando turned into fucking pudding and flew away and we're like, okay. So I'm just curious as to how Holiday Star, like, does it. Is it like an alternate version of the story? Is it coming up? Because once you do all the paths, there's a whole, there's a whole other ending. There's like two other <sighs> endings, I think. So they're probably like the story intensive things and maybe you're not actually dating anyone and maybe that's where it spins off. I don't know, but... 
we'll have to see when we get there. But it's just kind of like, I don't, I don't feel good about some of these endings. <laughs> They're so unfulfilling. Like, we didn't even get to eat the pudding that Oko-san turned into. Like, what the fuck? But it would be bird pudding, and that just seems weird. Anyway. But I'm not sure how to say this. As I looked at the photo every day, I, I realized I couldn't tell anymore. Couldn't tell if I felt love when I saw that face, or if... If I felt hatred. I... I think losing someone dear is painful for everyone. After a while, I... I couldn't stand to see it anymore. So you... And that's right. But even as I tried to forget, some part of me didn't want to. And you see now, right? Oh, why I don't want to love again. By now, the love I felt has soured into resentment. And rather than forcing all that hatred onto one person, I... I think it's better to love everyone around you just enough that you won't regret losing them. That's too sad. And you don't agree, Tosaka. I love your kindness, sir. But when I see that kindness bringing you pain, I have to wonder if there isn't a better way. Uh, I wonder. Uh, by the way, and there's one more thing I should tell you. That photo, it's gone now. I burned it. Eh? When you saw it, it made me think about things again. I never would have shown it to anyone, so I was rather shaken. We both knew that one of us would be gone one day, and, and neither of us would have wanted the other to mourn. So, like, is she dead? I'm assuming, or he? I mean, we don't know. He could just keep saying they. Neither of us, we. I don't know, could have been a dude. I, who knows? But anyway, so are they dead? I kind of made it sound like they, like, left him. You know what I mean? So as I looked at the photo, I thought it was better. Because if somebody dies, you're sad and you miss them and it hurts. But you wouldn't be so angry that you, like, scribble out their face. That's when they break your heart and they leave. You know what I mean? Better to put it away. And so I burned it. Sort of as an apology for defacing it like that. I should remember the beautiful face I knew, not... A photo covered in scribbles. Oh. Tosaka, and just because I'm a teacher doesn't mean you should always look up to me. Th that doesn't have anything to do with it. But I understand that you don't want to forget her, sir. I have an idea, Tosaka. I'll be waiting here at this school forever. If after you've grown up a little bit, you still feel the same way, I'll be here for you. Sir, that's... I don't like to make idle promises, but... I'm sure you'll grow into a wonderful person, Tosaka. So let's wait until then. Yes, sir. Graduating, growing up, and then coming back here. That will be another story. I don't know what he'll say to me on that day. I don't know what I'll feel or what he'll feel. But right now, I'm truly happy. These endings are, like, so bittersweet and they make me angry. Like, the fuck kind of ending is that? But that's another story. Oh! You know what I mean? But like... God damn this game! Yeah, we could have done his whole thing. As his own part. What may come? We should know when I see like... I don't read the names of the ending, but I should. we should kind of know what's going on. Okay, so I believe the doctor is the next one. Interesting. Such beautiful eyes you have. That's literally the name of the ending. Another bird with two endings. To get his true ending, you must study math every day. To get his normal, study anything but math. Okay, so we'll do the normal ending first and study anything but math. Okay. So we're going to load. We load about here. I wonder what I should do. Join the infirmary staff. All right, so we can skip this. Today's an elective day. What should I do? We're going to attend... Everything but math class. And we can skip these because we've already seen them, so. Um. I'm supposed to help at the infirmary today. I shouldn't keep them waiting. Better hurry. Salutations, Spacey. Yuya? What's wrong? Are you hurt? It's so sweet of you to worry for me. But no, I'm the second in command here. You are? I never would have guessed. I couldn't be happier, Monami. A mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiacs. Anyway, our job as staff is to check the medicines and clean up in here. And normally I'd do that. 
But today I've got some stuff I need to take care of. So could you handle this mess for me? We aren't actually talking to the doctor, so I could kind of skip through this. I'm like, well, I don't need to... Okay, we are supposed to neaten the desk. I think he'll come in. Just putting the files back in order should be fun. You again. D d d doctor, when did you... I just got back, but... Oh my. We do have sticky fingers, don't we? Th that's not it! Uh, Sakazaki asked me to clean... Clean? Oh, I see. You're on the staff now. Y yes Did he say anything about going near the desk? Yes, sir. Please do be more careful next time. Curiosity killed the cat, among other things. <laughs> <Fuck him up. laughs> He's so fucking shady. Yes, sir. Let's never do that again. I love Shady Loaf. Do, 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 do. Oh, Shady Loaf is fun. Collective day, what should I do? Attend anything but math class. This is why we can't like save anywhere else. Not like, oh, there's a split. It's like we do the same thing. We just, okay, so this is our, this one's going to be fast because we're skipping a lot in the very beginning. Um, we go to the sports, the first aid tent. But we're going to the... I'm just going to kind of skip through just in case something else changes. Doctor's over there. We don't see him. Is he talk? Okay. I don't want to skip just in case something does. Okay, no, it doesn't change. Midterm exam. I didn't do so good. I didn't because I didn't take math. There's nothing to look forward to. Oh, this is the Brian thing. We don't need to worry about that. Okay. going to the infirmary. You again. Are you ill? Um, not exactly. And then why are you here? I came here to... You know what the funny part is? There's no choice in the guide on what to pick here. Just says go to the infirmary. I'm going to assume it's probably the same no matter what you choose, but we've never done hear your voice. So let's do that. I wanted to hear your voice. My voice? Yes, you sound like Snoofkin. Snoofkin? And? Um. Don't tell me you came here just for that. Would it be bad if I did? You're even stranger than I had thought. I'm fascinated. How I'd love to experiment on you. Sadly, I'm busy at present. Please go elsewhere. Okay. I got kicked out. I guess being told I'm interesting is a step in the right direction. Or is it? It literally doesn't say, but I would assume that would be the right choice because everyone's like, skip gut, get out. Okay. You know what I mean? Music. Skip it. Tanabata! Rule the world from the shadow. Okay, so we've already done that. No, thank you. What should I do? Attend music. Or gym. Sure, whichever one. <laughs> like, whichever one, as long as it's not math. I mean, I don't think it matters, but I just would prefer not to choose any math. Okay, so this. Okay, so this is the seven mysteries thing that Ryota's telling us about. Great, blah, 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 blah. We can skip through this. And then we come in here. Excuse me. Huh. You and the doctor are talking about something. Did you really think I hadn't noticed? You sure look like you woke up on the wrong side of the nest. What are you talking about? I shouldn't have to explain. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I've told... Oh, I've told you never to touch my desk, haven't I? And what makes you think I ever have? This doesn't look too good. Um, 
The Spacey. There you are, Monami. The Spacey can back me up on this. We were in the courtyard together until a few moments ago. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go rifling through your stuff, Doctor. Right, Monami. Just what is going on here? I feel really bad. Selling out. Glass of slut. Anyway, the doctor suspects you of searching his desk. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, you use lying. I. We're supposed to say I was in my classroom. I'm sorry for selling you out, Yuya. I don't even know what's going on yet. I can't just lie through my teeth. No, I was in my classroom until just now. Ryoto is there too. Yuya is lying. Shit. Well done, Mr. Osaka. I'm glad our new assistant is so astute. What a pity, Yuya. It would seem that you're somewhat in lacking basic truthfulness. I think we need to have a long, serious discussion. Alone. I'm sorry, Miss Tosaka, but could you leave? This is important. I got kicked out again. Yuya's face looked pretty bad. Dr. Iwamine praised me, but what on earth is going on? Yuya is now dead. We fucking just killed Yuya. Oh my god, I can't believe we killed Yuya. Today's the last day, it's been a semester already. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Fine enough. The cleaning. Well, I'll be here just about every day the building is open. But there isn't any real need for you to come to. There's nothing I could do to help. No. Unless there anything else. Um. Missing student. I kind of wonder what Yuya said last week. Maybe I'll test the waters. Um, sir, I heard that sometimes students disappear after coming in here and... Who told you? No one in particular. Everyone's talking about it. It's kind of like a school legend or something. So you believe in urban legends? What? No, not really. It's just that it would be kind of cool if it were true. Then we shall leave it at that. That would be cool if you were to disappear. Oh, that it would be cool if you were to disappear. Or something like that. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have expected a straight answer in the first place. I never can tell what the doctor is thinking when I talk to him. Yeah, I mean, you never know with Loaf. He just looks evil. <laughs> I love him. Okay, so we can skip this. I love Dr. Loaf. Oh, a zombie. And I still have a lot of homework. Oh, okay, we can skip the job. Forget it. Do, 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 do. Today's a local summer festival. Okay. It's funny, we get to invite the doctor. Shoo. What do you want? Ah, it's the doctor! Ah! Is that all? I'm going home. Sorry, I just hadn't thought you'd actually come. But I didn't have anything better to do, so I decided that even if it was a... It's like a 0.05% chance. It's like a slim... It's basically non-existent chance. It was still worth trying. You invited me based on a chance like that? Fascinating. I think I want to try studying primate ethology next. Ethology next. Ethology. Whatever. And that aside... What did you want? I wanted to go to the festival with you. The festival? Forgive me. Forgive me. But I don't ascribe to idle superstition. I think 99.95% .95 of the people there will be just for fun, not religion. Very well. I shall accompany you. In exchange for your left arm, of course. M m my left arm? Oh. Would that pose problems to your active and youthful high school lifestyle? I shall accept a lock of your hair and step in. Um, okay? Yep, he's a pervert. Yippee! I don't think he's a pervert. He's just fucking crazy. Fireworks. How marvelous. You mean even you like fireworks, sir? Naturally. Such potential. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. 
I'm not sure I want to know what he's thinking about. He wants to glow. Everyone wants to glow. I enjoyed myself tonight. And thank you, Mr. Saka. And so he left, a satisfied expression on his face. I'm a little worried that he was trying to study me, but I'm glad he had fun. The late sunset in summer makes it easy to stay out late. I feel like my internal calendar is off already. I think I'll get some udon and go home before I get life counseled. Wait, isn't that the doctor? Good evening, doctor! Uh, it's you. This is any hour for a high school student to be wandering about. Huh? There's mud on his wing. A little of the city's nocturnal entertainment is to be admired. Uh, perhaps you should go home. I'm going to. Um. Ask what he's doing. Okay, I couldn't find where we were in the guide. Um, sir? Yes? What were you. What are you doing out here, sir? Nothing. Nothing at all. I was on my way home. I just happened to pass by. But if you were just walking around, how'd you get all muddy? Maybe I like mud baths. Jesus. I had forgotten that primates retain their keen vision in the dark. Informative indeed. And thank you, Ms. Tosaka. Good night. Well, wait! You didn't answer my question! Throwing something away. Huh? Oh my god! Was he burying you in his body? I was disposing of something I no longer needed. And so he hurried away into the night. Throwing something away. What? Littering is bad, Doctor. He was burying a fucking body. <laughs> oh, this game is fucking amazing. Oh, God. I was disposing of something I no longer needed. In the mud? Oh. Return to my glorious abode. Sometimes it doesn't, like, click. Anyway. Um. I hope you had fun over the summer. A student ID. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit. I hate that we can't rewind this. And I hate that it skips shit. Fuck. All right, I will be right back. I am going to have to reload and play this whole fucking thing again so we can go back because we can't fucking rewind and it just started skipping through. Uh, all right, hold on. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I went through everything and did all the same choices and everything, music class, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I just skipped through like, oh, we found the ID. Any teacher will do. And then I, here we are. So here we are. Now we can see this again. God, that's the only thing that I hate is that it skips through shit you haven't read yet. Like... We haven't read this. Why are you skipping? Uh, anyway. Um, so, anyway. Doctor? Good afternoon. What is it this time? Um, I found someone's student ID, and I thought maybe you'd know what to do with it. Isn't that something for the staff room? Oh, I bring it all the way here. It was closer, and they've started printing out tests in there already, so I'm not sure I can go in. There's no need for excuses, young lady. Leave it there and get out, please. Yes, sir. Wait, Miss Tosaka. Where did you find this? Um, it was on the staircase between the first and second floors, on the south side. I see. <laughs> it wouldn't do to have someone finding it and asking questions. I'm indebted to you, Miss Tosaka. Asking questions? Nothing you need to worry about. Please do be careful on your way home. What was that all about? He certainly is as strange as ever. Why are the doctors in all the schools and all these games fucking weird as shit? Like, remember Nameless? Like, oh, Beatrice, my love. I want to see your skeleton. Like, fucking the doctors are always goddamn motherfucking nuts. Is it like a trope? It's now a trope. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend to music. I forgot my recorder. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
Today's a school festival. I have the day off. Okay, so this I'm sure is going to be different. A whole bunch of clubs have food stalls outside. They look good when I was coming in, so maybe I'll go get something for lunch. Wait, isn't that... The f a familiar silhouette floats by on the other side of the crowded schoolyard. You mean loaf spy? Uh, Dr. Iwamine? I thought he'd be cooped up in the infirmary doing something boring today. Maybe I should ask him to eat lunch with me. I'll... Run the fuck away. Avoid him like the plague! <laughs> That's obviously when you accidentally get this and you're like, Oh no, I don't want to be near him. Oh my god. I have to catch up to him first. Um, he did go this way, right? Uh, did I lose him? Where did he go? There aren't even any stands set up here, and there's nothing in the pamphlet about anything outside the main area. The only thing back here is... The incinerator? Who goes there? Doctor! She stutters a lot when she stutters. It's not like, did it, doctor! It's like, did it, 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 you're like, it's, that's half of the 20-minute episode, by the way. I was following up until a minute ago, but now he's behind me? Oh, it's you. The stalking is a bad habit, young lady. No, I wasn't. I was just wondering what you were doing. Is it a crime to walk about one's own school? But there's nothing back here. And there's the incinerator. Everything that comes out of his mouth is shady as fuck. Why? I was placed in charge of the science club's activities today. I just came back here to get rid of some things that were left over. Unneeded things. Things. Like other parts of Yuya's body. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure he buried Yuya in the fucking park. My hunter-gatherer instincts are telling me to change the subject. Oh, right! Sir, would you like to walk around together? I heard the haunted house is... No. Thank you. At least let me finish inviting you before you refuse. As I said, I'm supervising the science club, so I don't have time for fraternization. Okay. And so I returned to the cafe, scared off by his obstinance and my own survival instinct. The Tosaka Spacey. If only I could tell how she plans her actions. I could deal with her fairly easily. How troubling. A little troubling that we're trying to romance someone who seems like he's trying to kill us. Ugh. I handed him my recorder instead of my math homework. Uh, is Mr. Nanaki still in this time? For okay, this is where they're arguing. Excuse me. Huh. Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Iwamine, I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers. Nothing at all. There's a statistical deviation visible in the data on students from the last few years. I had hoped to get some insight from you, but it would seem I have overestimated you. Really? Sorry, I couldn't help then. I'll... Then we get to side with the doctor. <laughs> you should look more closely, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, Tosaka. Even the students disrespect you. Pathetic. Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil. We're supposed to go into the infirmary today. I better hurry. Excuse me. Huh? Yes? Where is Sakazaki? Didn't he come yet? Mr. Sakazaki won't be here today. Because <laughs> he's fucking buried in the fucking woods somewhere. Or tomorrow. Or the day after. <laughs> um, what are you... He's been absent for almost a month now. I never realized. He's so dead! We so got him murdered! Oh my god! You know, I always wanted a path with one of the evils. Why can't our, why we never have a path with like the bad guys? We never have a path with like all the and now we're here we go. It's what I asked for. And oh no, I'm so sorry, Yuya. 
My poor precious glasses slut, I got you murdered. <gasps> oh no. But I kind of like evil Dr. Loaf. Did something happen? Who knows? He never was a very good student. No one's surprised to see him playing hooky again. <laughs> He's so fucking... The fact that he laughs after everything is so shady. You know something about it, don't you, sir? Me? Of course not. I don't know. I know only what happens within this little room. And you murdered him in this room. That somewhat alluring, slightly evil smile on his face tells me all I need to know. He had a hand in this. You do know something! But it's okay, I'll forget it because I love you, loaf. Sleeping pills. Huh? What are you standing around for? You're his replacement now. Count our supplies and mark down anything we're low on. I don't think that counts as an explanation. You is skipping school? I never, never thought of him as that type. And he hasn't even called me. Why did you decide to become an assistant here, Miss Tosaka? Because, um, I thought it sounded fun. I like you, sir. Is that so? Oh, what a coincidence. I think I'm starting to like you, too. Although I can't say I thought much of you at first. He likes me? Is that good or bad? My heart's racing, but I can't tell if it's love or fear for my life. A little bit of both. I wonder where Yuya went. I mean, girl, put the pieces together. He was literally like, no, I was actually just planting flowers in the park. I secretly do that, like, ninja style to keep the park nice. He's really not shady at all. You're like, oh. <laughs> I hope he's shady, because that's just funnier, but... Get our finals back. Okay. Nosaka, you suck. Today's Christmas. But Christmas is too mainstream, so I'm not celebrating. Which is to say, my family's Shin Buddhist. Huh. There's someone at the door. How do you have a doorbell? You live in a fucking cave! There's not even a door! Howdy! Pelican Express here with a package for Miss Tosaka Spacey. Sign here, please. It, you know what? I Props for the points. Points for this. It's a pelican because they have big bills and they can put the package and fly and carry the package in their little bill sacks. Oh my god. This is what... I hope that's why they were like, a pelican would be the bird, because he puts a package in his mouth and he spits it out at you. Like, oh, oh. Oh my god. That's so cute. I love it. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you, little girl. Have a good one. I wonder what it is. I don't think I've ordered anything recently. It's from Dr. Iwamine. Oh my god, it's gonna be like, oh, it's a beautiful feather pen. Oh god, it's Yuya's body. It's a lucky, it's a lucky pigeon foot. Wait, what? Whoa, there's even a letter. Hmm. I greatly appreciate your hard work in the infirmary. I hope this suits your tastes. A Merry Christmas. Iwamine Shu. He has really nice handwriting. Let's see. What's in here? There's a big box and a small one. Inside the small box is a quill pen. Oh, God. It's made out of Yuya. It's beautiful. A real white bird feather. Oh, God. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether to cry or what. Oh, no. Yuya, we got you murdered, and now we have a pen of you. It hurts, because you, you really is my favorite. I love our glasses slut, but we got him murdered. And now we have a pen made out of his body. Oh, God. This game is fucking rough, man. Oh, my God. This just keeps getting better. Holy shit. Oh, my God. I'm laughing so hard. I got tears in my eyes. Oh, God. Is he really giving this to me? It looks pricey. The big one is... Oh, God. It's meat. Huh? It looks like... Oh, God. Oh, God! A roast chicken? Or maybe a turkey? I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. It's <laughs> It's still warm. He must have had it delivered in a hurry. Thank you, Doctor. Yum! Oh, God, you're eating you here. Oh, shit. 
This game is fucking rough, yo! Oh my god! Oh! 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 I just gotta see. I can't even. Holy shit, I don't even know. He went right to that one. Don't let me click. Here we go. Oh my god! I can't, I'm so. I don't even know what. I wanted a route. I wanted something like this in a game. Like, why don't we ever have the evil asshole route? We did, but I never thought we'd be eating our friend. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, what did we get this time? Java Blessing. That's different. We've never gotten that one. A good. You got a better one than I did. Okay. Wait, isn't it? Doctor? He's standing a little way away from me. A little way away from the crowd. Do partridges have winter plumage? He looks a little fluffier than usual. I wouldn't have expected to see you celebrating the new year here, sir. Celebrating? Hardly. I have no interest in gods, temples, or celebrations. Yep, that's what I thought. So wait, what's he doing here? So, what are you here for, sir? just happen to be passing by. But there's nothing else here. Why would you be... Is it a crime to aimlessly wander the city in the morning? N no, I was just wondering. Such a crowd all at once. And as you said, there's nothing else around here. Who would notice if one or two were to disappear? Well then, goodbye, Mr. Osaka. Happy New Year, creepy doctor man! Who we're falling in love with. And who literally sent us fucking Yuya's body to eat. And as a fucking... Oh my god. I'm just gonna click through this because I don't want it to accidentally... I think it should stop after this. There's nothing special, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about except for the fact that we ate our friend. Oh my god. I'm never gonna get over this. Oh my god, I can't even. I can't fucking even. Okay, right. So this is... Wee! We get the racing blend. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. And now we're like, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Preparations. Time to give the beans to someone special. But then it's sometimes like this. It's, it'll stop. It won't skip through. It'll stop here because that's what it's done in every other one. Probably because now we're kind of more oh, in their path and this is the ending type of a thing. But... I still don't understand why in the middle of the game it'll skip through everything, things that you haven't read. I don't know. I do not recall summoning you to duty today. What is it? The doctor seems to be engaged in a in sweet embrace with a stack of papers at his desk. He didn't even look at me, and from his voice, he wants me to leave. Do you know what day it is, doctor? February 3rd. He glances at the calendar above his desk and then returns to his papers. And the anniversary of the first successful human embryo transfer. Really? Of course. The test tube babies had been successfully grown before then. So what did you want? Or were you hoping I would transfer you an avian ovum? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you like... That is inappropriate. No. I'd have to be a really sad girl to be fantasizing about bird eggs in the school infirmary. It's legumadine, sir. You give beans to the boy you like. So, he here. You're giving these to me? Yes? He finally looks over at me, but his expression is still... No, it's changed to something else. These are quite elegantly packaged. Yes, I got the most expensive ones for you, sir. So these were sold to you as some sort of luxury item. I see. Oh! He's the one that you switched the... Okay. When we go through the good path, we'll choose the black bean blend and not the racing blend, so we'll see the opposite choice. Okay. But such a thing would never have occurred to us if we had lived long ago. To think that we live in a society where price is completely disconnected from amount and nutritional value. Is this a roundabout way of saying that the beans aren't worth their price tag? 
and the value comes from the fact that they're expensive alone. Fascinating. I shall experiment on them later. No, you're supposed to eat them. The nutritional value and appearance aren't important. The important part is the fact that I gave them to you today. You gave me beans that anyone could get with the money. Worthless. Ah, rejected. Your resistance only makes my maiden heart burn stronger for you, Doctor. In that case, I'll bring you beans that I grew myself next year. Just you wait! Here is always Omer. It feels like it only it started only yesterday. This is the last day I have infirmary duty as well. I think we would have gotten murdered if we had actually gotten the bat. I think, I mean, because the guy said, like, you could do either one. Like, they're both. I don't think, like I said, I don't think it matters if you've gotten all his points, but it's funnier. So, anyway. The doctor's not here yet? The infirmary is quiet and peaceful as always. The orderly rows of medicines, the neatly made, oh, the neatly made, but, huh. Something stinks in here. It's coming from the bed behind the curtains. Oh, God. I'm scared. Don't open it. Don't open it. The sheets are stained brilliant red. At the foot of the bed sits a wash bin. It's liquid pink with a stack of scissors coated in blood and feathers in the bottom. The blood on the bed is still wet. Okay, well, this is definitely not Yuya because we already ate him. The this is... The students who disappeared after going to the infirmary. Yuya. The mysterious smile the doctor gave when I asked him. I, I have to get out of here. I have to tell someone! I need to report it. To the police? Anyway, I need to get away. Is he gonna kill us? I need to get out of... I need to get out before he... You're early today, Miss Chosaka. Is he gonna kill us? That That's not a good path. You're rather pale. Here, why don't you lie down? D doctor This blood. Oh, forgive me. I just finished dismembering another student. I hadn't cleaned up yet. Please, pay it no mind. He didn't even try to deny it! He... He... The... The door's locked. Going home so soon. It won't open. Indeed it won't. After all, there are so many bad little boys and girls who try to leave before their examinations are over. Like you. D doctor you you really have been cutting people up and using them for your experiments do you really need to ask that after all you even helped me helped you oh god i i would never oh he's gonna tell us don't tell me you've forgotten already and just at the start of this semester you helped me destroy a little evidence you brought back the ID card of one of my guinea pigs. I suppose I dropped it by accident. You really helped me out then. But we can't leave things like that lying around, can we? Then, Yuya? What did you do to Yuya? Oh? I thought you'd figured that out already. I did! He's in here, Miss Tosaka. In here. Doctor reaches over and lightly strokes my stomach. The <laughs> told you we fucking ate you, yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. The big one is, huh? It looks like a roast chicken, or maybe a turkey. I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. It's still warm. He must have had it delivered in a hurry. Of course, technically speaking, he's long since been digested and absorbed into your body. So we don't really know exactly where he is. Now do we? That... You can't be... No! No! How did he taste? I was worried it might be a little tough. I did so regret not having a better bird to send you. It simply wouldn't do to have you throw him out. That... That was Yuya? I mean, I love Yuya and I want to... I want to be with Yuya, but not like that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's him. I thought it was me, like, freaking out. Uh, uh, that's a beautiful face, Mr. Saka. 
I have longed so dearly to see that face. You could tell from the start that I was dangerous, couldn't you? And yet you came to see me again and again. Very assertively. No, I just had to come for my infirmary duties. Was that really it? You knew I planned to kill you, and yet you came anyway. Are you sure you didn't have feelings for me, perhaps? No! I want to say, but my tongue is like lead in my mouth. Maybe it's true. Maybe somewhere deep inside, I love the doctor. But I'm afraid that I have room for only one love in my life, and that is research. But it would be cruel to ignore your earth earnestness earnestness that's fucking wow hard to say and so i put much thought into how i might reward you and just cutting you up would be a terrible pity and i think i want to keep you by my side oh my god you're gonna stuff me forever he's gonna kill me i know he's gonna kill me so why can't i move and so and this is what i decided I shall preserve only your head. It will be easily stored. Of course, I can't let such a rare sample slip by, so I will remove your brain. Why can't I pull my eyes from his? From the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you thoroughly. And don't worry, you won't go to waste. I will make sure to examine your insides most intimately. This is like... <laughs> creepy. It's fuck, but it's like, it's like, this is literally almost, I think, the most romantic path that we've had. He's gonna intimately, like, chop us up. Okay, I mean, this is what we signed up for. Suddenly, he has a cleaver in his left wing. And you've chased after death's lore most diligently. I suppose you're too afraid to speak now. For a moment, my vision shifts to the ceiling, the wall, the floor... My eyes rolling wildly. The words... Oh, the world twists. Twists. Soaked in red. And so my life came to an end. <laughs> Are you throwing <laughs> <laughs> This game is fucking insanity. All right, well, uh, between... Oh, we ha Oh my god, we haven't done his full ending. Holy shit. Okay, um, I am going to... <laughs> Wait, does he have two? He has two, right? Yeah, we do. Um, we're at about... You know what? I'm gonna stop. We got... The other part was about... A little under 30 minutes is a little under 30 because I had to stop you. Know, I'm going to stop. I'm going to skip through everything so we don't have to see everything again to get to the ending and we'll get the better ending. We'll watch that. So I will be back in like two seconds. Okay. So um, I skipped through everything. We did math every single time. And we're going to do the bitter black beans this time instead of the racing blend because um, that was the recommended thing. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So I figured I'd start there and then we'll go and we'll do the ending. And a lot of it might be the same, but that's okay. So... Uh, I do not recall summoning you to duty today. What is it? The doctor seems to be engaged in a sweet embrace with a stack of papers at his desk. He didn't even look at me, and from his voice, he wants me to leave. Do you know what day it is, doctor? February 3rd, he glances at the calendar. Okay, we can skip this because this is the same thing. Um, no, I'd have to be a sad girl to fantasizing about that. Here we go. Here, okay. You're giving these to me. They look like just normal beans. It's the fact that I'm giving them to you today that matters. Your words are meaningless babble. Or perhaps I simply cannot perceive their true meaning. Very well. I will take them. Put them there and leave. I'm busy. Okay. No romantic legumentines for me. Well, hoping for romance from him was probably foolish anyway.
Oh, right. The year is almost over. It feels like it started only yesterday. Last day. Okay. Doctor's not here yet. Infirmary's quiet and peaceful. Huh. Something stinks in here. Okay. So we're gonna... Okay, we're gonna skip through this because we've kind of already read this. Okay. So. Anyway, I need to get away. I need to get out of here early. Okay. So we kind of already did this. You're rather pale. Here, why don't you lie down? T Doctor, this blood. Oh, forgive me. I just finished dismembering another student and haven't cleaned up yet. Please, pay it no mind. He didn't even try to deny it. He, he. The, the door's locked. Going home so soon. It won't open. Indeed it won't. After all, there are so many bad little boys and girls who try to leave before their examinations are over. Like you. D doctor you... You really have been cutting people up and using them for your experiments? Do you really need to ask that? After all, you even helped me. Helped you? I, I would never... Don't tell me you've forgotten already. Just at the start of this semester, you helped me destroy a little evidence. You brought back the ID card of one of my guinea pigs. I suppose I, I dropped it by accident. You really helped me out then. We can't leave things like that lying around now, can we? Then, Yuya! What did you do to Yuya? Oh? I thought you'd figured that out already. He's in here, Miss Tosaka. In here. The doctor reaches over and lightly strokes my stomach. The... Okay, I'm gonna skip through a little bit of this because we already know he's the big one, huh? Looks like, okay. Yep. Of course, technically speaking, he's long since been digested, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we already know this. How did he taste? I was worried it might be a little tough. I did so regret not having a better bird to send you. It simply wouldn't do to have you throw him out. That... That was you, yeah? Uh, oh, that's him. Uh, uh, that's a beautiful face, Miss Tosaka. I always think it's going to be us being like, because ah, that's... I've longed so dearly to see that face. You could tell from the start that I was dangerous, couldn't you? And yet you came to see me again and again. Very assertively. No, I just had to come to the inf come for infirmary duties. Was that really it? You knew I planned to kill you, and yet you came anyway. Are you sure you didn't have feelings for me, perhaps? No! I want to say, but my tongue is like lead in my mouth. Maybe it's true. Maybe somewhere deep inside I loved the doctor. I'm afraid that I have room for only one love in my life, and that is research. But it would be cruel to ignore your earnestness. And so I put much thought into how I might reward you. Just cutting you up would be ter a terrible pity. And I think I want to keep you by my side. Forever. He's going to kill me. I know he's going to kill me. So why can't I move? And so, this is what I decided. I shall preserve only your head. It will be easily stored. Of course, I can't let such a rare sample slip by. So I will remove your brain. Why can't I pull my eyes from his? From the neck down. Oh, ahem. From the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you thoroughly. Don't worry. You won't go to waste. I'll make sure to examine your insides most intimately. Suddenly he has a cleaver in his left wing. You've chased after death's allure most diligently. I suppose you're too afraid to speak now. For a moment, my vision shifts to the ceiling, the wall, the floor, my eyes rolling wildly, the world twists, soaked in red. And so my life came to an end. Oh, we have an emergency report from the Pigeonation Project. The researcher we dispatched to the school has stolen a highly classified sample and fled. He took sample HB087, the human head. We've not confirmed that he's armed. We've sealed off the area. He seems to be acting alone, so our retrieval squad should take care of everything quickly. Please help yourselves. The Chiefs Danish are rather good. 
Huh. Have these brutes no mercy? Though, I did agree to this from the start. <laughs> we seem to be in a bit of a pickle, Miss Tosaka. They suddenly ask that I give you to them. And to think that until now, they considered you worthless. I was the one who preserved you so beautifully. You like the jar, do you not? Do you know of the mere exposure effect? It states that one can become attracted to things simply through repeated contact with them. A conundrum indeed. I think perhaps I have felt new emotions since I acquired you. We have but little time left together, I fear. I do not like the idea of handing you over to them. So I think I shall break you once more. Of course, I do not wish to force you into a double suicide. I shall break this glass only after confirming your feelings. You loved me, did you not? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, we have no options. <laughs> Thank you. I am so glad I got to kill you. Good night, Miss Dosaka. So then, contact! In the water! Left side! The weapon's free! Take him down! So, he, like, committed suicide back up? Or by, yeah. Like, oh my god! Wow, this is some fucked up shit, man. <laughs> oh god, he is! He's dead! <laughs> oh my god, this game is seriously fucked up! Alright, well, that is that. So, um, we have to do Angel's route, and then we've got the couple of other endings, so, um, we'll start Angel's route in the next part, so. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up, and subscribe to see more! <laughs>